Welcome to my channel. As many of you know, I have been dealing with a medical issue, a blood clot, which can be very dangerous, can be, can cause you to lose your life. And so uh, I've cut way back on my production of videos while I deal with this issue and while I go to doctor's appointments and those types of things. And I just thought that I, <clears throat> I just thought it might be good to share with you my approach to health. Because I know that there's some who are saying, or you're thinking in your mind, you know, why did God let this happen to him? Well, that isn't how I look at it. And I want you to understand where I'm coming from on things like this. Uh, in 2011, my wife was diagnosed with uterine cancer. And while she was waiting for surgery, she slipped on a dryer sheet in the laundry room and fell and broke two toes. <coughs> after she broke her toes the doctor said I can't do surgery because you have to be ambulatory after the surgery to recover so they put the surgery off they delayed it while she healed and so she said well you know what I haven't had a mammogram in over 18 months I'm going to go ahead and get that done so she had her mammogram done and they found breast cancer now, for a lot of people, those two diagnoses would be devastating. For us, they were not at all, because we know that God protects us. We're not fools. We go to the doctor regularly. We go, I go to the doctor every six months for a checkup. And when I thought something was amiss with my leg, I went to the hospital immediately to have it checked out. I don't expect God to take care of every single problem that I have. I just expect him to keep me alive and to keep me healthy as much as he can. But we live in a broken world. We live in a evil world. And it's impossible. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your beliefs are. It's impossible to avoid things like what's happened to me. It's just impossible. And so my approach to it is I'm going to go get find the best doctors I can and I'm going to deal with it the best way I know how medically and then I'm going to put it in God's hands and I'll say, God, whatever needs to happen for this to be a healing, do it. And I expect God to do that because that's what he's always done for me. If you're dealing with a medical issue of some kind, don't just get on your knees and pray. Go to the doctor. Get checked out. Take the medications that they prescribe you to take. And then when you've done everything you can in your power to deal with the issue, put it in God's hands and say, God, I've done all I can. Now it's up to you. That was 2011. My, my, my wife is cancer free. She's had other issues since then. And we've dealt with them the same way. And someday, we're both going to die. That's just reality. And, and it's, not, it's not God's fault that we're going to die. It's built into the human species. Death is a part of life. And you have to prepare for that the same way as you prepare for anything else. My wife and I have both taken care of the disposition of our bodies long before we expect to have to have that carried out. She is going to be cremated. And I am donating my body to the body farm. If you don't know what that is, Google body farm the particular institution that I'm 
sending my body to is East Texas State University. But I figure that after I'm dead and gone, studying my body, my remains, will be beneficial for someone else and maybe save a life. <clears throat> I'm not afraid of dying. I could die tomorrow. It wouldn't bother me a bit. Don't plan on it. Plan on being around for a long time. But I'm not afraid of death. Death doesn't scare me at all. It's a part of life. And diseases that we get, illnesses that we get, are death trying to take a hold of us. And we just have to take a stand and say, no, not now. I'm not ready. I'm not going. And I praise God for taking care of me and keeping me alive. And if that's in a diminished capacity, that's still better than being dead. As long as you're alive, you can still fight. Still fight for truth. Still fight for the ones that you love. So, I, I just wanted to share with you my approach to illness in general and to this particular issue in, in, in specific. Uh, I was diagnosed on Tuesday of last week, uh, day from tomorrow, a week ago from tomorrow, I mean, uh, with a blood clot in my lower left leg. And the remedy that medicine has for that is called blood thinners. And that's what I'm on now, is blood thinners. And now the next step is for me to go to a hematologist and have the hematologist try to figure out what caused it. And if it turns out to be something genetic or something that is built into my system, then I'll be on this drug for the rest of my life. If it turns out to be something that we can pin down to a specific cause, then I'll be on the drug for maybe six months. But taking drugs doesn't stop me from believing in God and it doesn't stop me from believing that God will heal me or that God will take care of me. My faith in God isn't shaken by the weaknesses of my body. And yours shouldn't be either. We have the most powerful God in the world. He can do anything. But he expects you to do what you can. Not to sit around and wait for him to take care of you. But to do what you can to be healthy. And then he will jump in when he wants to and when he needs to if you ask for it. Now before I close this out, I want to show you my shirt. My wife gave me this. Gives you some idea of what she thinks of me. And I think the same of her. We'll be celebrating our 52nd wedding anniversary on the 19th. And hope to celebrate a lot more together. In the meantime, I pray for you that God will shower his love and his joy and his peace and his mercy on you and that your life will be full. I pray for the same thing for every person that you love. This is the Vietnam Era Vet out. <laughs>